What is up, YouTube? Welcome to episode 22. And today I'm gonna f try and hit 10K again on a rent. I know I said that last episode, I gave myself 24 hours to relax since the last recording and kind of think this through because I got a little aggravated, if you guys could tell in episode 21, 21, I got a little aggravated because I thought it was just gonna be a hand, like, here you go, here's 10K. It wasn't even close. We barely made ends meet. So I'm hoping with a little bit of additional effort, we can make that happen. That's been something I've I've been like not doing. If you guys have watched a series, I kind of just start shooting out numbers to random people. Uh, what I need to do now is actually optimize. So do those boring things like check what they're doing and all that. And then that seemed a little loud. Um, check all those boring things there. And also like make sure people are just happy and hate it man um it's a boring stuff but your boys got to do it your boys got to do what your boys got to do um we have a few leases running up i want to get these people out and actually optimize this house because it really stinks so i think we're just going to break the lease for everyone and update this house finally and my only issue is that we have a lot of loans out so i'm nervous about going negative um here so maybe we shouldn't kick everyone out yet. I kind of feel like we should. Design, awesome. Prestige, B. Neighborhood, C. Nearby facilities, C. I don't know, man. Um, You know, we, we, we can come back to it. I don't need to do that right now. For now, we need to start making more money, of course. So, wow, this is... 8k for 35,000 though that's a full makeover for eight thousand dollars though let's do it this is a full place i thought so Ugh. all right but it's 8k which can pay off some of the loans or help us pay off some of the loans um cool. i want the extra 200 just going out budget or does it go towards the budget of the place Goes towards the budget of the place. All right, screw that. Don't do that again. Wow, that's a lot of money. So I made a funny comment and said, if you buy the tree house, you won't have to do that job anymore as an elite contract. So maybe I'll end up doing that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Negotiations. I'm going to let everyone end their lease at that place. As, as they leave, I'll just kind of call it a day, you know? I shouldn't have done that. So that'll end up being a bathroom. We'll probably have a bedroom over here and we'll call that a full house. I don't, uh, it'll tell us how, what they want, but I'm assuming it won't be bad. So my girlfriend is addicted to Aldi's. I don't know if you guys know what Aldi's is. It's a really cheap grocery store in the United States. Like really cheap, like the cheapest you can get. But the cool part is they always have like these weird items there. And I ended up spending and hung out with the lady last night. And she went out this morning to do uh, an Aldi's run. She went to the gym. She's a gym goer. Gym goer. Um, but she went out to the gym and came directly after that. Uh, went to uh, Aldi's, you know? And I was like, cool, man. Like, grab me an energy drink. I don't drink energy drinks that often. The only time I drink energy drinks is during the weekends. And I usually have like a monster or something. But I uh, I thought I'd test my luck with an Aldi's energy drink. You know? One of these discounted energy drinks. Just text me. I gotta pay attention to this. Because I'm not paying attention. Okay. Um, so I test my luck with an Aldi's energy drink. And they gave me something called Gridlock. And I don't know what the heck this is. But it ain't very good, all right? I gotta be honest, it ain't very good. Uh, it, it's really tangy and kind of a weird flavor. But the weirdest part is they aren't even named flavors. So there's just colors. <laughs> so, you know, like whenever you go to the store or anywhere and you go, yeah, I'll just have a blue Gatorade. Like you don't say blue raspberry, you know? But there is a name for it. It is blue raspberry. Or you'll say you'll have a red Gatorade. And that's Fruit Punch, of course. There's, there's no other name for it. It's, it's the Fruit Punch, but everyone just calls it the red one. 
Um, or the light blue, which is like ice, which is, I think they call it mist or something as a flavor name. All right, anyways, this, this brand of energy drinks doesn't have names to the flavors. Like it doesn't even say a name. All the cans are exactly the same. So I don't even know if there's different flavors on each. I ended up buying the, well, I didn't buy it. The lady bought a blue one. It's okay. I just, I don't know if I like it or dislike it. I really don't know. But there's not even a flavor name to it. Like I can't even tell you what the name is. I just, it would just be called blue. And that's how you know it's a discounted kind of, uh, <laughs> a discounted kind of uh, beverage here. Uh, it ended up running me a dollar, or her a dollar. And my monsters I usually drink is like 250. So I was like, wow, like 200, like you can get two and a half of these for the price of one, uh, the, for the price of one, um, one monster. I was like, that's a great deal. Then I took a sip of it and I'm like, that's why you get the price of two of these for one monster. I don't know, man. It ain't great. It ain't great. I got to be honest. It's, it's not doing well. Uh, it's very tangy and weird. And it's like still early in the a.m. It's 11 a.m., which is early for me. I mind you, I know you're probably like, Josh, 10 a.m., dude, you should already be moving. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like it's 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 later on in the day, but I um I drive home and stuff. So 11 a.m. kind of early. I don't know what the heck this place is for, but I think I'm making a uh, a strip club. You know, I think it's gonna end up being a club of uh, of the lovely ladies uh, or men. I'm not here to judge. If if you would like a lovely man club. You do your thing. I, I try and keep my conscience PG, PG-13. More the, more or less PG, as you guys know. I, I don't swear. I try and prevent myself from doing any of that stuff. And my stories are usually on the level of, um, of acceptable, you know? But I do have a funny story for you guys about a, uh, about a local club in our area. So there's this... I, I can't go into too much detail because we're going to keep it PG, but there's this club similar to the one I'm currently designing. Um, <laughs> I've been a few times. I've been a few times. All right. And I'm not a huge club goer, like across the board, like just not all that interesting to me, but I've gone. And I think it was more or less just to go for the experience. You know, it's like, I got to do this at least once in my life type of thing. So I went and they had posters on the walls. And I was like, Ooh, What's that? And their big thing is Wednesdays, I think it was. Wednesday mornings, which was the really odd part. They said it was <clears throat> legs and eggs. It was an all-you-can-eat -eat breakfast buffet on <laughs> Wednesday mornings. <laughs> and it really had me questioning the... Uh, idea of this because it kind of it kind of threw me off i was like legs and eggs like what are you doing eating off the stage like am i just gonna put my plate on the stage <laughs> it just wasn't good man i was like it's a good advertisement like i like the i like the slogan but then i'm like who the heck wants to eat an all you can eat breakfast buffet at a at a gentleman's club like who the heck wants to do that who's who goes oh yeah Legs and eggs. Where you, where you want to go in the morning? Uh, this Wednesday, first off, Wednesday morning. Where do you want to go? Uh, legs and eggs, of course. Where where else would you want to go? <laughs> so that's that's my one story. And that's all you're getting out of me. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. It was an interesting little time for me. The lady went with us. We It was a bunch of us. It was a bunch of us friends. And my... Oh. All right, a little bit more. One of my friends have a freaking, like, platinum card there. I was like, what the heck is that? Like, oh, dude, I'm a gold member. I was like, what? How often do you have to come here, dude? <laughs> uh, that's your gold member. I don't know, man. It's it's not my cup of tea, but I I don't judge. If if that's your cup of tea, that's your cup of tea. That's that. Serve up, man. Have fun. Wow, this is rated horribly. 
Uh, coffee table, picture, trophy. A trophy in the... What what type of trophy can you win here? Um, Okay, like some sort of shelf. <clears throat> I guess we'll just like put a couple trophies and small knickknacks and call it a day. You might need a fire extinguisher because how hot it's going to be. I'm sorry. That was a stupid joke. Uh, Let's grab a couple items here. Trophy, like they won. Trophy. Not sure who the heck won the trophy, but we'll put it in there. A little plant, little plant action. A bonsai tree. Nice little mother plant. Josh, you did a horrible job. I agree. But that's all they wanted. It's a it's not a good club. Yeah, the one we went to wasn't bad though. We also went to one in um <clears throat> I went to Canada a couple years back. Two years back, it was a year before COVID. Or like six months before COVID. We went to Canada and we went to one. It was an interesting experience. The one we went to wasn't that great, but then um Nice, we unlock more stuff. What do they end up rating that? Good enough. Ah, oh, four stars. Five stars. I'm sorry, five stars. I'll take five stars for days. We always take five stars. And that was 10k. That was a, like, like, that, that was nice. Yeah, I went to one in Canada, which was an okay experience. I wasn't like blown away by it, but I have to say, I think us Americans know how to get down just a little bit better. Though Canada, I have to say, the one thing I was really impressed with Canada was their food. Um, they actually knew how to make food. That wasn't like gonna kill you. I feel like everything everything felt more fresh, you know? Um, not that we don't have fresh food here. Like, obviously, we do. But there, it just felt, like, healthier. Like, I think I got some pretty unhealthy foods. Like, I think I got, like, a burger from one place. But it actually felt like a fresh burger. Like, it actually tasted okay. Um, it didn't feel like it was clogging my arteries. Um, 25 to 60 meets that. Uh, 140%. Okay, no factory worker. Check. That's it. Alright, you're in. I really like this place. This place is cute. Alright, talk to me. Wait, this would be 10k? Wow, that would have been a 10k. Will that count? Hold up. Will that count? If that counts, I'm going to freaking lose it, man. That'd be so nice. I'd be so pumped because I wanted to try and knock that out. Oh, she loves it. So happy. Ah, uh, it didn't count. Jeez, I can't even keep up. Can't count as the 10k lease. Dang. But this apartment's not much nicer than mine, so I'm sure the big place I bought probably can accommodate that 10k. We just have to make it accommodate 10k. Um, okay. Uh let me see how much money is gonna be taken out of my bank from this. So 3k, 6k, 8k. Uh it'll be about twenty-three thousand dollars. Okay. So we're at ten thousand over the bank's kind of request. So Let's do like one or two more of these and then we should be in a lot better place here. So if we do one or two more of these, oh wait, this is a babysitting job. I thought this was like a get someone in my house type of job, except that. <clears throat> wait, is this the club again? I think it is. Hmm, okay. We're doing a whole lot better this time. For money. Like, we've already earned a lot of money today. And so, maybe not this episode. I want to redo those crappy apartments really bad. No, 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 we Try and save it, and then we take it.
Yeah, this guy I'm gonna end up kicking out. He's, he's only paying 4K. I wanna reflip. I wanna flip that house. And I wanna flip the crappy one we have. So I think maybe next episode we'll focus on flipping houses. Like current houses. This episode is kind of just like this weird in-between where I wanted to flip a house, but we ended up doing the club, which was kind of fun though. By the way, so anyone who made this far is clearly a dedicated viewer. I appreciate you guys watching as much of the video as you have. Would you guys be, uh, I don't want to say interested, but I think I might end up, and this is kind of in the air still. I want to know your opinion. If you like it or dislike it, if you dislike it, so be it. If you like it, let's do it. Um, I was thinking about doing some sort of paid subscription model. So I can do something like that on YouTube, of course. And they have like join. And I was like, Think about making an exclusive Discord or something where I like to spend a lot of time in. I'll hang out with you guys. and I also want to make like credits at the end of episodes. Something like that. And it's kind of just for more or less kind of the fun of it. Bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, living room, garden. Okay. So bedroom, bathroom, living room, garden. Cool. That's fine. So bedroom here. Living room there. Kitchen. Here, I don't know if you actually need to separate the rooms, but we will just for the sake of um, like kind of separation. Living room, bathroom, kitchen, garden. Great. Okay, let's let's hit everything first. What don't they care about? They don't mind first impressions, which doesn't help me at all because I don't know what that means, but that's okay. Yeah, so I was thinking about doing some sort of like $5 subscription. When I used to stream on Twitch, of course, I was a partnered Twitch streamer and I used to do that, which this is bedroom. Hold up. This is bed. No. Yeah, yeah. This one's bedroom. Might be. Uh, so I used to do the partnered Twitch subscription, which I really liked. But I also felt like the cool part about that was I was able to interact with you guys more. And I really got to thank you guys for kind of supporting the channel, which is huge to me. Because anyone who is, uh, is like generous enough to give any money, I think, is amazing. And you guys deserve the love and all that. All like the... I'm very thankful for it is kind of my point and I hate ever kind of doing that type of stuff but I was going to just make it an option like oh if you want to like here's an option you know and I was going to be kind of where I left it at it wasn't going to be uh obviously I would never I'm I'm highly against putting anything behind paywalls I know some 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 YouTubers and stuff do I wouldn't ever uh it's not something I'm interested in doing if I ever streamed on Twitch it would on YouTube it'd be for everyone and it would kind of just be a, a other option. Not hating on YouTubers who do do that, you know. Um, it's their, their, their choice to kind of offer subscriber-only YouTube streams and stuff. Like, if that's what they would like to do. That's all good with me. I'm not, I'm not here to judge everyone else's kind of uh, presentation of their material. Whatever they decide is fine. I probably would never do that. I wanted to get like a little, is there like a, like a little, uh, like a TV, like a little, um, hmm. where is that bad boy? I'm thinking about a little end table here. Something like this. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the plan. I, I don't know when I'm going to make it go live. I like set everything up and there's emotes and stuff for whenever I start doing streams on YouTube. I even built up the spicy emotes and whatnot. Well, I just brought my emotes over from my other channel uh, when I streamed on Twitch. So that's what we ended up doing. And So I just brought them over to this channel on YouTube. But I don't know what the mastermind plan is for the long term, but we'll see. I'm pretty excited, though. I actually, I've been really dedicated to doing YouTube, as you guys can tell. It's almost been a year of daily broadcasting or daily content creation. And I would love one day to be able to do this as a larger kind of portion of my life, man. I, I Like, I enjoy this stuff, as you guys can probably tell by my... Uh, my recording habits and the way I talk and all that stuff. I love doing this stuff, man. It's just a lot of fun. It's a good time. I would like to continue doing it for a uh, long term. 
I'm lucky enough that right now I have a lot of, uh, I, I, not a lot of free time, but I have some free time to be able to kind of record and make content as I feel best fit, you know? So if I ever wanted to do more recording, I can kind of find time right now. I did, uh, I did quit a soccer league because of that though, because of this. So I did a soccer league on, you guys have been watching for a while. You might've probably heard me talk about the soccer league, but I did a soccer league on Thursday nights, but it was like way too late and I had work the next morning. Like some games would be at 11 PM and then I wouldn't get home till like past midnight. I'd be exhausted and then I'd have to wake up at 7 a.m. and get to work. I work from home, so it's not that bad, but it was like kind of crappy, you know? Never the ideal situation, as you could imagine. Uh, I think we might be able to finish this as the way it is. This room is going to be crappy, though. Yeah, it's, it's not even worth buying that one. Nice. A little toilet action. Uh, we'll get the cheap one. A little cheap. Cheap, cheap. Dude, this bathroom's gonna stink. Sorry, guys. Sorry to whoever's bathroom this is. I think we have a washing machine in here. What else did you want? Toilet paper. Mm. I think we can buy the expensive one. I think we can afford the expensive. Nice. I'm actually really happy with that. Thank you everyone so much for watching and supporting the content. If you guys enjoyed it, please consider looking down below and hitting that spicy subscribe button, like, comment, do all that stuff. We'll have more content up ASAP per usual. If you guys like this series, please consider checking out the other series. Any and all support is extremely helpful. Watching, commenting, sharing, doing all that stuff, liking, does a lot for the YouTube algorithm and helps me continue kind of growing the channel as I would like to keep doing this for a long, long time. Thanks guys so much for the support and I will catch you all in a future episode. I'll finish this up offline and then we'll have another episode up uh, tomorrow. Thanks guys.